Hey Max, um, let's check out this file here, see if we can get this working. So, all right, I had to check my microphone uh, because I did a recording for the CA group using my NVIDIA recorder and um, yeah, it just was not uh, working at at all. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna go over to my downloads and I unzipped your textures. Uh, let me just bring in one of these here and let's see. So we got a fern. So we got a base fern. Uh, there's no textures associated yet. Um, so let's go to Hypershade. And you want to get this working in Redshift with a Redshift material, is that right? So, so right now I can see it's hooked up to some stuff, but this is just not, not on. So uh, we need to find where that's located. So let's see, base fern, I think that's that's the one base fern and you get this kind of thing going on uh, all right so let's let's see here i'm just gonna switch this over to raw you know usually we want srgb on everything but let me just get the raw information from the file first and next thing I want to do is check out. Now, a TGA actually has an alpha, so it doesn't. It's not like a PNG where there's a transparency. So it actually uses an L, out alpha. Um, let me just make sure I'm showing everything here. So I'm gonna right click on this. Show. Uh, where am I looking? Show all attributes. Um, and I'm gonna go out alpha. And I'm gonna use a redshift material. So right now, let me just start my render going. And let's see here. And that's over here. So right now, this is on a Maya material, which which is great if we want to see this in the viewport. But if we want to render this out, uh, let's try using redshift. So go to redshift, grab a redshift material. And I'm just going to throw it on there. Oh, what's going on? Oh, we have LED, LODs. Um, all right. Let me just make sure these are hidden. There we go. All right. And three. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, alpha channel. So I'm gonna take the alpha channel and I'm gonna put this into the opacity channel. Just if you're not sure where it is, just type in opacity and it's gonna go actually into the opacity color. So alpha channel into opacity color. So let's just connect that and see what happens. Oh, okay, one into every one of these three here. All right, well, I'm not really seeing anything going on just yet. Uh, let's let's do this. I'm gonna click on the texture and let's check out what's happening. Right now it says alpha is luminance here. I'm just gonna turn that off. Oh, oh look at that, it works. <laughs> uh, all right, let me just take the um, out color and I'm gonna put that into color. Yeah, because this has a, a real alpha, right? So it's not just taking the color channel and using it, uh, using the brightness of the color channel for the alpha. This actually has a physical fourth channel, right? It has an RGBA, so it has like an actual dedicated alpha. So I'm gonna take the out color and just put that into uh, color. Uh, I'm just gonna drag and drop it so I don't have to look around for where that is. So middle drag it. There we go, all right. Easy, easy peasy. Now that we flip this off here, let me see if this uh, my material works back on here. Oh, it does. Yeah, look, my material works now too. All right, so it's just a matter of clicking off uh, that button, uh, which is on the texture, and it is is disappeared. Where's the texture? Right here. Um, alpha is luminant. So again, that's going to work with your TGA file. Okay, hopefully this helps. Uh, cheers. Bye.